There once was a chemical plant that prided itself on never having a chemical spill, environmental release, or process safety incident. This chemical plant had been in operation for more than 50 years. Residents of the town enjoyed the parks that the town shared with the property, especially its pristine lakes and streams. One of the key process units at the chemical plant was a new sub pump. His job was to control the level in a remote chemical sump. He turned on when the sump level hit the high set point and turned off when the level reached the low set point. He was bored. Nothing exciting happens to me, he thought, and the control room operator never visits me. To amuse himself, he took a deep breath and sang out, high level alarm, high level alarm. The sump is in danger of overflowing. This caused an alarm to be generated in the plant's control system and displayed in the control room for the operator to see. In response, the control room operator went running up the hill to help the sub pump deal with the high level situation. But when he arrived at the top of the hill, he found that the sump level was not high. The sub pump laughed at the sight of the operator's angry face. Don't cry high level alarm, sump pump, said the operator. When the sump level is not high, he went grumbling back down the hill to the control room. Later, the sub pump became bored and sang out, high level alarm, high level alarm. The sump is in danger of overflowing. This generated an alarm once again in the control room, which drew the operator's attention. To his naughty delight, he watched the control room operator run up the hill again to help him deal with the high level in the sump. When the operator saw that the level in the sump was not high, he became very angry. He said, save your frightened song for when there is really something wrong. Don't cry high level alarm when the sump pump is not danger of overflowing. But the sump pump just grinned and watched the operator go grumbling down the hill to the control room once more. Later, one of the chemical pumps developed a leak. As the level rose in the sump, the sub pump turned on to drain the sump. After a while, the sub pump realized that the level was still rising in the sump, even though he was pumping as hard as he could. He knew that if he didn't get help, that the sump would really overflow, resulting in a chemical spill into the environment. Alarmed, he leaped to his feet and sang out as loudly as he could. High level alarm, high level alarm. The sump is in danger of overflowing but the operator thought he was trying to fool him again. So he ignored the alarm and did not respond to help the sub pump. At the shift change, the new operator on shift noticed that there was a high level alarm for the sump that had been active for hours. She wondered why, so she went up to the hill to check it out. When she got there, she found the sub pump crying. There really was a high level. The sub pump level has overflowed and spilled into the environment. I cried out high level alarm. Why didn't you come? The operator tried to comfort the sub pump. We'll shut off the leaking pump and get the spill cleaned up. Nobody believes a liar, even when he's telling the truth. The moral of the story is alarms should be defined and managed carefully to ensure that they are meaningful when they occur. Alarms should be used to indicate an equipment malfunction, process deviation, or abnormal condition that requires a timely operator response. If no operator action is required, then the condition should not be alarmed. This prevents nuisance alarms from developing which, if not corrected, can desensitize operators, leading them to ignore alarms. This is sometimes called the boy who cried wolf syndrome. Ignoring alarms is a potentially dangerous situation that can lead to a process safety incident. Performing a thorough alarm rationalization, as defined in the ISA 18.2 and IEC 62682 alarm management standards, is an effective technique for eliminating nuisance alarms.